Hello and welcome to this video on workshop 10 regarding multivariate statistics for GSBS 6002. The questions that we'll be addressing in this video uh, relate to the real estate XLS data file. They are questions 6 and 7 from workshop 10. For question 6, we have a customer would like to know which variables are significantly related to the price of a house. She wants to estimate a model to determine whether age, condition, fireplace and house area can predict price. Using the data provided in the Real Estate XLS data file, answer the following questions. The first question, uh, part A, is to state the null and alternative hypotheses. The null hypothesis here would be that there is no association between the age of a house, the condition of a house, whether it has a fireplace and the house area and the house price itself. Our alternative hypoth hypothesis would be that there is an association between the age of a house, the condition of a house, whether it has a fireplace and the area of a house and the house price. For part B, we need to identify the appropriate statistical test required to test this hypothesis. As we are testing for a linear relationship between one dependent variable, that is the house price, and the several independent variables, age, condition of the house, fireplace and house area, we must use a multiple regression. For part C, we are required to write down the regression equation. But before we can do that, we really need to perform the statistical test in Excel. So if we flip over to Excel, uh, here is our data. We need the price of the house. We need its age, its condition, whether it has a fireplace and the house area. So if we copy these columns and paste them into a new worksheet, and then we can perform our multiple regression. So we will need to choose data, data analysis, we need regression, click on OK. Our Y input range, that is our dependent variable, is the sale price, so we highlight all data in that range. Our X um, variable is our independent variable, so age, condition, fire, place and house area, highlight all the data there. We want to maintain a confidence level of 95% and our output range will put up at G1. We then click OK and this is the results of our multiple regression. The first thing we need to look at is our significance F to see whether the model is actually valid. Uh, the significance F has a p-value of 0, so our model is OK. Next we look at our independent variables, and just for clarity I'm going to copy and paste the variables down here. So our age variable has a t-statistic of 2.22, which is greater than 1.96, and it has a p-value of 0.02 which is also less than 0.05. So therefore that variable is statistically significant or has a statistically significant impact on sale price. Condition has a t-stat of 3.92, which is greater than 1.96 and a p-value of zero. Therefore that variable is also statistically significant. Fireplace has a t-stat of 0.58 and a p-value of 0.55, so neither of those are statistically significant. And our house area has a t-stat of 35.37, greater than 1.96, and a p-value of 0, so that is definitely less than 0.05, so that variable is significant. So age, condition, and house area are all statistically significant variables. So if we to, were to now write the regression equation, we would have sale price is equal to our y-intercept. So our y-intercept is up here. It is negative 86, 519.02, 
we then are going to minus our age coefficient which is 148.96 times age we then add our condition variable which is 24809.72 times condition then we add our fireplace variable 2897.8 times fireplace and we add our house area variable 1427.27 times house area okay so that is our regression equation the next thing that we need to do for this question is we need to provide both a statistical and non-statistical interpretation of the output. So I would say that a multiple regression was used to determine whether there is a relationship between house price and four independent variables, age, condition, fireplace and house area. A regression model comprising these variables can explain 61. 5 or 61.6 percent of the variation given to us by the R squared. These significant explanatory variables are age with a T statistic of 2.22 and a p-value of 0.02. Uh, condition is our second with a T statistic of 3.92 and a p-value of 0. And house area with a T statistic of 35.2 and a p-value of zero. Therefore the age, condition and house area all explain the price of the house. If we move on now to question seven, question seven asks a customer would like to know which variables are significantly related to the advertised price of a house. She wants to estimate a model to determine whether age, size, land, bedrooms and waterfront can predict price. So using the data, answer the following question. So we need to state the null and alternative hypothesis. Our null hypothesis would be that there is no association between the age, land size, bedrooms and waterfront variables and the advertised price. Our alternative hypothesis would be that there is an association between the age, land size, bedrooms, waterfront and the advertised price. For part B, we identify the appropriate statistical test required to test the hypotheses. As we are testing for a linear relationship between one dependent variable being the advertised price and several independent variables being the age, land size, bedrooms and waterfront variables, multiple regression is the most appropriate test. Part C, we need to write down the regression equation, but before we do that we need to perform the statistical test in Excel. So if we jump over to Excel and go to our data, we're after advertised price, age, land size, bedrooms, and waterfront. So if we copy that data and copy it to a new worksheet, we can then perform our regression. So it's data, data analysis, regression, our dependent variable, our y variable, is our advertised price. Our independent variables, waterfront, age, bedrooms and size of land. We highlight all that data. Confidence level of 95%, output range at G1, and then we click OK. So this is our regression. Go straight to the F stat. The F stat is significant. P value is zero. The next thing we look at are the independent variables. And I'll just paste those there so we can identify which ones they are. So our waterfront variable has a T stat of 13.16, P value of zero, so it is statistically significant. Our next variable, age, has a T stat of 9.31 and a p value of 0. It also is statistically significant. 
bedrooms, T stat of 15.72, P value of 0, that one is statistically significant, and the size of the land, T stat of 5.4 or 5.5, and P value of 0, it also is statistically significant. So all of our independent variables are significant. So we now need to write the regression equation. So our independent, oh sorry, our dependent variable, advertised price, is equal to our y-intercept being up here, our 61,484.87 plus our waterfront variable which is 369.485.73 times waterfront plus our age variable, actually that is a minus because the coefficient on the age variable is negative. So 856.13 times age plus our bedrooms 59098.70 times bedrooms and plus our size land oops coefficient first plus 10.72 times the size of the land so that's our regression equation just get rid of that highlighting there so that's our regression equation. The next thing that we need to do is to provide both a statistical and non-statistical interpretation of the output. So here we would say that a multiple regression was used to determine whether there is a relationship between the advertised price and four independent variables, age, land size, bedrooms and waterfront. A regression model comprising these variables can explain 30 33, actually 34.20% of the variation in advertised price. The significant explanatory variables are waterfront, age, bedrooms and size of the land based upon T statistics greater than 1.96 and P values less than 0.05. Therefore we can conclude the age, land size, bedrooms and waterfront all explain the advertised price of the house. So that's it for this workshop video. I hope it was informative and thank you for watching.